You go from doctor to doctor, having exams and blood work done, and no one can find what's wrong with you. It was so painful, I couldn't stand to be touched. The pains keep spreading throughout your body. When I was searching for a diagnosis, seeing doctors, they chalk it up to mental illness. These patients have severe symptoms of disease. Pain, intense weariness, cognitive disorders. I've been ill since 1994. I was diagnosed in 1999. We were backed by enough scientific proof, blaming aluminum salts in vaccine for our illness. Post-vaccinal granuloma occurs in anyone who receives a vaccination containing aluminum. German scientists claimed that aluminum was dangerous in 1891. Whenever you introduce something that you expose humans to, you would normally make sure that it's safe. It has never been demonstrated that aluminum is safe. The study that worldwide vaccinology takes as its reference two rabbits whose organs were lost and who were studied for 28 days. They even want us to believe that it is unanimously accepted that aluminum has no toxic effects. The health minister is lying. Whenever someone at the Alzheimer's Society, a major charity, asks for advice, they ask this well-known person in Alzheimer's disease, what's the role of aluminum? No, there's no, nothing to worry about. Researchers checked for a link between multiple sclerosis and hepatitis B vaccine. An association between the two was found in the studies. Questioning a vaccine doesn't mean you oppose vaccination itself. Dr. Flore, president of the Vaccination Technical Committee, admitted that the calcium phosphate adjuvant was no less effective than aluminum hydroxide or aluminum salts. Scientific findings about aluminum adjuvants in vaccines are now extensive and known worldwide. Who are they trying to fool? The studies have been published. They show adverse effects. Big Pharma has taken over. Does anyone care about public health? Isn't anyone listening to all the whistleblowers? Or is money the only thing that speaks to you?